who will say that not just these boys who are in some academy or the other across India, what would you like to tell these young boys in conclusion? Because a lot of people will come over the years, there will be 20, 30, 50 years from now, we hope even 100 years from now, when they come by the Arabian Sea, they will come and see this bat of honor and be inspired. What would you like to tell in conclusion to this little boy and indeed lots of little boys across India today? You know, many years ago, even I was like this, I used to attend various functions. Uh, cricket, I'm talking only about cricket right now because there are cricketers here. But generally, talking about your passion in life, whatever you are passionate about, you, in, you have to understand one thing, that cricket first should live in your heart and then it finds its way to your brain. In the sense, once you start playing cricket, you figure out how to score runs and how to get wickets. But if you are not madly in love with cricket, play something else, do something else, become a doctor, lawyer, whatever. Whatever you are passionate about. When you are passionate about something, you don't look at your watch. You don't, you don't tell your parents, oh, I practice for two hours, I practice 120 balls I batted or whatever. You just practice till you get tired and till you are satisfied. Hard work, obviously, is important. People will notice all those things. But satisfaction will not be noticed by anyone. Only you will know within if you are satisfied with your effort or not. Okay? There will be tough, tough patches in between. Don't cheat. Don't find shortcuts. Okay? Because eventually you will be cheating yourself. So all I want to do is tell you to go out and chase your dream. It's important to dream and then even more important to chase your dream. Okay, I'm sure you all want to play for India, right? Yes! You can answer me louder. Yes! Much better. Okay, so I want to wish you all the best. Enjoy cricket.